Shalom, Kohla, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, just giving all praise to the Most High. In name is only begotten Son, in name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets of Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And it's going to be a quick one in the spirit, man. Just a reminder to you, brothers, man, that you are the prize. Okay, the man is the prize, not the woman. Okay, and, and in these other countries and different parts of the world, they understand this. Okay, the reason why you think that the woman is the prize is because that's the Western mentality that was taught to you by your oppressors to, you know, pretty much throw off the order of things. All right, so let me grab this video and I'm grab a few scriptures. Things that I noticed, especially around the women. A few things that I noticed, especially around the women. The women are gorgeous in Japan. I don't think that most Western women could even buy clothes in Japan. Like, <laughs> the Japanese woman is slender and light. I mean, there's almost no overweight women, let alone obese women. And there's kind of the opposite of chivalry in Japan. Mm -hmm. Like, just in all the ways that we kind of take for granted that women kind of come first in the West, mm -hmm. men come first in that way in Japan. For example, I remember one day I I was walking into a public place about the same time as a woman and I opened the door to you know hold the door open yeah. for her and she refused to walk through it she made a show of embarrassment and kind of like laughed and said no 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 because it would have been disrespectful to allow me to disrespect myself in that way by allowing the woman to go ahead of me wow wow I know, I know. a few things that I know so there you go all right he gave you an example of he was opening the door for when I brought it said I can't he was opening the door for a woman you know a common thing that's done over here in the West and, and he said how the woman, you know, which those Japanese women, hey, a lot of those women be pretty as hell, man. And we're going to have them in the kingdom of heaven. We ain't just going to be, you know, uh, 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 matched up with Keisha in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to have, you know, these women from all these different tribes. I mean, from all these different nations, okay, um, as concubines in our, in, 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 in our kingdom, all right? Um, and uh, he, he mentioned how the woman, you know, she showed, you know, um, embarrassment. She said how it was uh, it was wrong for her to allow him to embarrass himself like that by allowing her to go first because the man's supposed to go first. OK, and that's what goes on over there in Japan and a lot of these you know countries over there in the east. You know, th th this th th this um, lifestyle or this way of life is still accepted versus over here in the west. You know, it's all about the woman, which is completely off. And, that, and that's why you see this society failing the way it's failing. All right. So let's grab a few scriptures going into that. I'll play one more time especially around the women. The women are gorgeous in Japan. I don't think that most Western women could even buy clothes in Japan. Like, <laughs> the Japanese women... Which is the curses. Scripture says, now um, there shall be a girdle, you know, and, and, you know, and these women are a lot of shape, you know, and even the men as well, you know. So, hey, coming into this truth, you got to understand that we got to come back to how about y'all shy. You know, health is important, you know. Um... But, um, you know, the, the, it, it, it's the ways of America. You know, the, the way that America's pushing is completely opposite for, from the ways of the scriptures and what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has set up. Let's play some more. Is slender and light. I mean, there's almost no overweight women, let alone obese women. And there's kind of the opposite of chivalry in Japan. Mm -hmm. Like, just in all the ways that we kind of take for granted that women kind of come first in the West, mm -hmm. men come first in that way in Japan. For example, I remember one day I was walking into a public place about the same time as a woman, and I opened the door to, you know, hold the door open yeah. for her, and she refused to walk through it. She made a show of embarrassment and kind of like laughed and said, no, 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 because it would have been disrespectful to allow me to disrespect myself in that way by allowing the woman to go ahead of me. Wow. Wow. I know. I know. A few right. things that I noticed, especially oh. around the women. Let me grab this right here. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir, because it's going to be a shortage of men out here. A lot, a lot of these men are going to die in the wars. The only people that's gonna be the only men that's gonna be left is the men of the Lord. Okay, the ones who 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 rejected going to that war, the ones who rejected that karagma, the ones who rejected that yab, you know. Um that's gonna be the only man that's gonna be left out here, man. Okay, and this is why, you know, from from what from, even from what he said alone, this is why you have a lot of uh, men going, you know, you got some called the passport bros, men going in these other countries to um find women, okay, because they're more uh feminine. 
you know, he said how the woman showed a sign of embarrassment. And, you know, just because he wanted to open the door for her. Nowadays, these women on this side, they're all about, you know, so uh, uh, they, they want to be glorified and worshiped, which is the, which is wicked. You see, that's not the way the Lord set things up. That's not the way the way the Lord wants things to be done. And because of that, a lot of you women are going to find yourselves, uh, you know, lacking in, in these last days. OK, you're going to find yourselves lacking. Let me grab this. Um, that's not it. Uh, Tempest. So lock you. you know, that's not it. What am I looking for? That's not it. Um, uh, let's dry. Let's grab this dry place. All right, a lot of you women are going to find yourselves lacking that day, man. This is a uh, Isaiah chapter thirty-two, verse two. It says, "And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place." As a shadow of a great rock in a weary land, because you women are going to realize that when all help does come and this wind and this, you know, this um, tempest um, is all symbolizing destruction that's coming, man. You know, when destruction does come, you know, you ain't, ain't going to be no independent women then, man. You know, right now, you women, you know, you you you, you might make more, more, more money than your average man, you know, but when this economy collapses, then what? You know, you're going, you're going to resort back to um, gender roles. All right, I'm going to read an NLT. It says, each one of you will be like a shelter from the wind. So th this is talking about the, 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 the elect men. Each one of you will be like a shelter from the wind and a refuge from the storm, like storm, like streams of water in the desert and the shadow of a great rock and a parched land. Why? Because the Lord is going to be with his men. All right, the Lord is going to be with his men and with him being with his men, he's going to deliver his men out of any situation. You know, so whoever's with those men, they're going to be taken care of, too. All right. Isaiah chapter four, verse one. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying we will eat our own bread only and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And nowadays you meet a woman. She wants you to take her shopping. You got to buy her something to eat. You know, you got to you got you to take her out to dinner. This, that, and the third. Well, we're really supposed to be the other way around. You know, in this society, when with which way, but you know, you, you shouldn't be getting married on this society, anyways, in this kingdom, you know, uh, according to you know the government or whatever. But nowadays, you have the man that you know gets down on one knee when really the one woman's supposed to get down. And he also, too, there's more women on earth than there are men. You know, so the the, the more precious thing is is the thing that there is least of. I'm reading NLT. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1 it says in that day so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man they going we're going to be fighting for a man right now these women think that they ain't going to oh I ain't sharing oh man cuz why you you you're proud and arrogant but the times you come into you're going to fight for a man it says saying let us all marry you what let us all marry you and when, and 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 what is marriage sex you see we coming into and this is why you brothers got to get you know you got you got you got to get into your manhood you know don't 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 be in this westernized mentality where you gotta you know uh, uh uh simp out to please a woman you know you gotta you know you gotta do you know um you know uh uh um things against your integrity you know things against your morals to try to get a woman fuck that bro you know and the woman you that you do deal with she supposed to be in order and if she not in order you know then she gonna get in order it says we will provide our own food and clothing only let us take your name so we won't be mocked as old maids right a lot of these women they had they don't, they only have kids you got women that's, you got women that's in their 30s and their 40s even 50s shit and they don't got kids the lord created you to bear children okay that's what the lord created you for to bear children not to be out here run, run, running around the streets uh talking about fucking hot girl summer first corinthians chapter 11 verse 8 for the man is not of the woman but the woman of the man Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So you women were created for the men. Okay. You women were created for the man. And the reason why the world is so out of, out of, out of, uh, you know, out of order and, you know, completely messed up now is because nowadays you, you, you women think that, that the man was created for you. And a lot of you men think that this woman was created for you when you're really supposed to be the other way around. When you get with a woman, she's supposed to add to your enterprise. Okay. A helpmate, as um Eve was done to Adam. She was, she was, she was a helpmate. So the woman's supposed to be a helpmate. She's supposed to add unto you. You shouldn't be washing dishes and you know, 
uh, you know, cooking and cleaning and all these things when you got a woman in the house. Okay, because that's a woman's role. That's a, 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 a woman's job. No different than if a man come in and somebody try to break in the house. Whose job is it to stand up and protect that house? All right. Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Nowadays, these women, they, they, they ain't worth the fuck. They'll ask you. You you might first meet a woman. She'll ask you if you know how to cook. Which shows you that she didn't, she, you know, she didn't have a real father in her life. You know, her parents, you know, was probably just as gone. Scripture says, um, as the mother is, so is the daughter. All right. Genesis chapter three, verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly m multiply thy sorrow and thy conception and sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over you. Right. So the man is supposed to rule over the woman. OK, that's the natural order of things. But nowadays it's not that way. OK. Let's grab this. It says. um, Isaiah chapter three. Verse uh, 12, it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. So we in the world, in the society now, you know, here over here in the West and, 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 and of America, where women are ruling over men. You know, children are our oppressors because that's Esau because he came out of us, you know, but women rule over us. You know, we said, but women rule over them. All right. So. Here we are in, in land of our captivity and, 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 and you letting your woman rule over you. It says, O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to cause thee to err and destroy the ways that I path, saying, Happy wife, happy life. You know, hey, 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 all that's off, man. And the Lord's gonna put things back in order. And if you for you women that don't want to get in order, you're going to die here. Okay? You're gonna die here and you're gonna come back in your right mind. Okay? You're gonna come back in your right mind. You know, in the right spirit. Because right now these women are not in the right spirit. Um, let me grab this. <clears throat> well, look at this right here. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. How long would thou go about, O, ba o thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, hath created a new thing in the earth, which is, this is a new thing. This Western lifestyle, this modern lifestyle, this is a new thing. Uh, a woman shall compass a man, and the woman has compassed the man. Okay, unfortunately, the woman has compassed the man, and this is that new thing in Earth that's you know, you know that, 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 that that's not good. You know, it's not good. So the Lord's got is gonna have to get things right. You know, set things back in order here, or you know, the ones who can't get order will be end up being destroyed. <laughs> Truth be told. All right, let me grab this right here. So, like you, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. <coughs> let me say this too far, go any further, because see, over there in, in the east, you know, like you have, um, you know, those, those, um, those Palestinian countries and even Japan, China, you know, North Korea, they have, they, 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 they have things, you know, that they, they're still following the old path to a certain degree. It's America that's trying to push these modern ways on the rest of the world. Well, those modern ways are not the right path. That's not that's that's not the good way. It says Jeremiah chapter six verse sixteen. Thus saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, stand ye in in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. Right. So we supposed to find the old path, man. So when that man went over to to, to, to that side of the world and he saw a whole different way, hey, that was the good way. You know, the woman was, you know, modest, you know, uh, shame faced, you know, not proud and arrogant, not, you know, demons, you know, like like how we got to deal with here in this in this kingdom, which that's coming to an end. All right. All that's coming to an end, man. OK. In the mighty name of Yahweh, you know, Shadow the Lord's going to set this place back in order. All right. And that's what and that's what we hope for. And that's what, what we desire. You know, a righteous kingdom. Or a kingdom where we're in the will of righteousness. Because this kingdom right here, boy. Shit. Wickedness, man. I know you got women putting men on child support. I, I posted a clip shortly the other day. And, I, and, I, and the guy appeared to be easy, Mike, but, but, but he could have been a Jake. You know, going through curses like that. You know, the woman, he had to spend five years in prison. Because he failed to pay child support. For a child that wasn't even his. Alright. And she and the woman said she knew who 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 who, who the father was. So they need to lock her ass up for 10 years, man. All right.
But it showed you how, how, how wicked this world is and why the Lord got to come back and deliver us from this wicked society, man. All right. That's why we got to pray. Scripture says, pray for a few days unto you that they may be shorted, you know, to hell with this place. Whatever it said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Shalom, Allah, Abba, Babal, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great minister who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.